Columbia University is currently engulfed in chaos because a large contingent of pro-Hamas supporters have taken over its campus. For seven straight days, demonstrators have pitched tents on campus, harassed Jewish students, and demanded the school cut ties with companies and institutions that have any connection to Israel. All of this turmoil caught the attention of New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, who said that he will stop financially supporting the school until Columbia puts an end to these demonstrations. For MRC-TV, I'm John Simmons and welcome to the Woke World of Sports. Kraft is an alum of Columbia University in New York City, graduating from there in 1963. For many years, he's made annual donations to his alma mater to help build its future. But Kraft is also a devout Jew and is disgusted that his alma mater has become a hotbed for anti-Semitism. As such, he now says he's not going to send them another dollar until that changes. Kraft released a statement on Monday, just hours before Passover began later that evening, saying that until the university puts an end to the pro-Hamas demonstrations, he will no longer financially support them. I am deeply saddened at the virulent hate that continues to grow on campus and throughout our country, Kraft said. I am no longer confident that Columbia can protect its students and staff, and I am not comfortable supporting the university until corrective action is taken. On an appearance of Hannity, he added that American universities are brainwashing students to believe harmful rhetoric, which leads to situations like this. I, I was just thinking when I went to Columbia, it was a place where people listened, were empathetic, had compassion. And now, you know, we have professors who, instead of teaching how to think, that they're trying to tell our young people what they should think. And I think one of the biggest problems that we have to do something about is really tenure in these universities where people can do things and don't have accountability. Kraft said in his statement that Columbia is no longer an institution I recognize, and he's not being dramatic with that word choice. Despite authorities making over a hundred arrests since the start of the protest, the demonstrations have not subsided. Furthermore, the school also barred a Jewish professor from entering campus on Monday, despite letting hundreds of pro-Palestine protesters roam around campus undeterred. My card has been deactivated? Yeah. Why? Can you back up, please? Uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, my card has been deactivated. This is, the, this is Cass Holloway, the COO. This is Gerald Lewis. They were in the meeting where I asked them if Hamas is a terror organization, and they couldn't say that it is a terrorist organization. Why? I'm a professor. Why can I Shy, we, we, No, no, no. We speak out loud. So the media Shy, can we are willing to take you to the math lawn. No, I am, no, I am a professor here. We are alumnus. We have a real I, wait, wait, wait. Everybody quiet. I am a professor here. I have every right to be everywhere on campus. You cannot let people that support Hamas on campus and me, a professor, not go on campus. Let me in now. Things have gotten so bad, the school announced that it will hold classes in a hybrid format until the end of the semester. Even leftist CNN called the situation a full-blown crisis at one point. That's when you know things have spiraled out of control. So yeah, Kraft made a game-changing decision to not support his former college. They don't deserve a penny until they get all this sorted out. So folks, what do you think? Was my analysis a home run, or was it a big swing and a miss? Feel free to leave your comments and subscribe to our social media channels that still let you see our content. And always remember, be on your A-game and don't cave to the woke agenda in sports. For MRC-TV, I'm John Simmons.